guys. So in today's video, I am bringing you a hair tutorial. I know, who is she doing a hair tutorial on her channel? I'm usually more in the makeup realm and not so much in the hair game, but you know what? Festival season is coming and I have to tell you, the minute I saw colored extensions becoming a trend in festival hair, I was like, I need that on me right now. So obviously if you guys are familiar with the festival scene, you have seen colored braids, colored hair, just like exploding as a trend. I feel like in every single Instagram post, I'm seeing colored extensions now. So naturally I had to jump into this game. I have been attending festivals for years. One of my favorite parts is, you know, getting dressed up, doing my hair, doing my makeup. Um, pro tip, sometimes just putting your hair back in braids or a ponytail or buns is the easiest way to go. You don't have to think about your hair the whole time. It's a cute style, it just keeps Keeps your hair out of your face and you don't have to worry about it. You can just go have fun, go dance. But this is way more affordable. Um, and even if you're not the best at hair, you know, if you have a friend or somebody else, hopefully they can learn something from this video and you guys can just do this at home at your next festival. I will link down below where I bought the hair from. Today I'm using hot pink hair that I got from AliExpress. The only other thing you're really gonna need is just your brush and I got these mini elastic bands which are gonna come in handy and I also just like wet my hair a little bit but um, I think for the actual festival I'll probably be using some hair gel to keep down any of the baby hairs so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your piece of hair here and you're gonna want to pull off a section of hair I just used this one and it was a little too thin um, so I'm gonna add a little bit more and I'm just gonna pull them apart I will say one of the hardest things to deal with is how much fallout there is. Like this hair is shedding everywhere and it gets stuck on the ends. So just be forewarned, this is like very, very messy. And I'm just gonna lay this flat against my knees so that it stays. And then to make sure this doesn't get too knotty, I'm just using the ponytail that it came with and I'm keeping the hair tied off. Again, if your hair is wet or if you have hair gel, that'll help control like all the baby hairs and any of the frizz that you've got going on. So I always just take a small section of hair to start, probably even less than that. So I always take my first piece of hair, right? So the rest of this, I'm gonna tuck it behind my ear because we're not gonna be using it right now. This piece in the front, you actually wanna split in half again. So I would just stick my finger through about halfway and split it. So we've got that in two pieces, right? So now I'm gonna leave this one hanging in the front here. Then you're gonna take the hair, make sure that it's about evenly split, right? And I'm gonna put this hair over to the side and I'm gonna put this on top of the piece that's sort of like hanging there. I'm gonna pull it up so it's just kind of dangling around this hair and I'm making sure the length is even on both sides about, okay. Then you're gonna take the hair from that's behind it and you're gonna join those two together. And I'm really gonna like hold this in place right now and I'm gonna grab one of my elastics and we're gonna put a band around my natural hair and we're gonna make it pretty tight against where the pink is at like the base there. So this is basically what's gonna hold it in place. And I'm gonna sort of pull that nice and tight there, cool. So that is how I personally am starting it and now I have my three pieces of my braid. So we can sort of turn the hair around and I've got one, two, three pieces. So now I always start my braid off. So I'm gonna do a normal braid. So I'm gonna put the pink over there like that. Pull that nice and tight. So now the braid has been started. So what I'm gonna do next, and sorry if I don't talk through all of this, but you're basically just gonna start French braiding like you normally would. So now I'm gonna take my hair with the pink I'm just gonna take a portion of that. And you sort of wanna like comb it through to make sure it's nice and flat. Again, gel will help you. And that is gonna come over. Now you've joined these two pieces together, my natural hair and the pink hair. And then I'm gonna pull the piece of my natural hair underneath. So you're just gonna braid and you sort of pick up pieces as you go. Then I'm gonna drop my natural hair into the group, grab more hair. So now this is just my natural hair here joining together. Make sure that's nice and tight. Don't really want any bumps in there. Cool, and then I'm gonna pull the pink underneath there and I'm just gonna continue on French braiding. Um, when I do this for EDC, I might just have my friend like help a little bit because I think if you do have another set of hands, it'll be it'll be easier. But we're just gonna keep on going, and you sort of just need to keep this like taut as you're going, like keep it tight to your head. Otherwise, your braid's gonna look too loose. And 
And at the bottom here, I'm sort of grabbing a little less hair so that it goes down nice and far. Hope you guys can see. And then this is the last piece of hair I have at the bottom, so I'm grabbing that. And then you're just gonna start naturally braiding your hair. So you guys are gonna see in a second here, my natural hair is starting to run out. So I'm pretty much at the bottom of my hair here, right? So I'm gonna secure that right at the bottom of where my hair ends. So we don't lose the whole braid here. My braid got a little wonky at the end, sorry. It was like hard to talk and concentrate. Okay, so my hair kind of ends the same place on both sides. So what I did next is you can kind of see where it ends. I'm gonna do another elastic like right here. And we're gonna do a little bit of a bubble braid action at the bottom. Cause this, these hair extensions are pretty long that I bought. I have this hair left. I'm gonna split that in half again. Secure it with an elastic. Cool, and then I want to match it on the other side. So I'm gonna take this piece of hair and I'm gonna split that. And you guys, seriously, just practice. Like this is literally only my second attempt at this. So the braiding might not be the best braiding I've ever done, but just practice it. But anyway, so see how you've got all your pieces sectioned off here? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna sort of like bubble them out. So you're gonna pull them like that. And it creates this cute little like bubbling effect, which I absolutely love the look of that. Honestly, this feels pretty secure. Like to me, this was the easiest way to get the braid started and it looks so cool. Like you have, you know, your pink throughout. You can do different colors. I'm gonna turn around. Sorry if my line isn't super straight. I didn't look beforehand, but. So that's the back. So this is the whole thing, super long and fun. But anyway you guys, that is the full tutorial. This is my festival hair. Um, I cannot wait to wear this to EDC and other festivals and play with the color. And it's so fun, I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Go create it yourselves. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you wanna see me do more festival hair tutorials. If you guys are not subscribed already, I would absolutely love to have you guys Come back, subscribe. Please feel free to share this with any of your friends who you know are going to festival season. So thank you guys for getting the word out about my channel. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.